Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Dumbinit, which is a very, very simple init system that's useful in Docker um, that my former coworker and I wrote at Yelp. I mean, he did most of the work, but <laughs> uh, a long time ago in 2016, I did a video on signaling in Docker and that's usually what you would use Dumbinit for. Uh, but I find that there are many, many other uses outside of Docker that are pretty convenient. So I wanted to show you just two of them uh, really quickly and um, yeah, kind of you know, walk you through how you might actually use this thing outside of Docker because it has some useful properties. Uh, and those useful properties are if it gets a signal, it sends it to all of its children and it waits until those children die before continuing onwards. Uh, it also can rewrite signals to other signals and you can also ignore signals using it. Uh, the first example actually comes from a very, very funny use case. Uh, and this is again, um, a Chris special. Uh, Chris loves Tmux and uses it a lot. And if you ever, you know, happen to walk by Chris, he may have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of splits that he has meticulously managed the size of on his screen. Um, this is important, I promise, this is important. And uh, when doing development at Yelp, uh, the main monolithic repository used Apache 2 to run Python through ModWiski. Now I have made a very simple uh, run Apache 2. I'm actually using a Docker image that's provided by Ubuntu, but that part's not important. I can run Apache in Tmux and everything works great. If I go to localhost 8080, you can see we get the default Ubuntu Apache 2 page. Cool, great. Apache is running fine. Uh, I need to do something else. So I'm gonna resize this, this terminal window. And oh no, Apache has died. Why did Apache die when I changed the terminal size? Well, it turns out uh, Apache 2 sig winch. Uh, sig winch is window change when the size of your window changes. And it turns out that uh, that means graceful kill in Apache. Now you probably don't want to kill Apache every time you resize a Tmux pane, which is every couple seconds if you're Chris. Uh, and so you might want to ignore Sig winch uh, when you're debugging Apache. And so you can actually use Deminit to do that. We're going to install it. Uh, you can pip install Deminit. You can download the static binary. Uh, I just find pip to be the most convenient way to do this. And Deminit has a helpful setting for this. It has a uh, dash dash rewrite option, which allows you to rewrite a signal to a new signal. Um, you can also rewrite it to zero to make it ignore it. Which is cool. We do kill dash L. We want to ignore sig winch, which is signal 28. So if I run Deminit rewrite 28 to zero, then Apache to uh, run Apache two. Now we have Apache, just to show it again, it's running. And I can resize my Tmux panes without killing it. And this is all because Deminit is ignoring that signal. Um, in fact, oops, this pane, we run it in verbose mode. Uh, you can see uh, Deminit translating signal 28 to zero. I don't know why the output is all sorts of messed up, but um, I'm gonna blame it on Tmux, <laughs> but I actually don't know why. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, it might also just be, I, I don't know, doesn't matter. Uh, I can rewrite, re, re, uh, resize my window and patch um, 2 doesn't die. Okay, cool. So that's one use that I wanted to show you. Uh, another use actually just came up recently while I was working on uh, not pi upgrade, but I was running a bunch of tests using PyTest using this procedure where um, I basically get a list of tests and I want them want to run them one at a time using xargs and so I basically do xargs dash d back n uh, pi tests inputs test lists and it runs all the tests cool but I noticed that if I control c while it's running oh I wasn't fast enough uh, let's put a sleep in here so that time time dot sleep five uh, and let's actually ignore the keyboard in it. Well, let's not ignore it. Anyway, let's say I put a sleep in here so that I can actually control C it while it's running. Um, and you'll notice my terminal gets all messed up. Like I control C it, but 
Exarchs apparently doesn't wait for its children process to stop. It just lets them die, which is kind of annoying. Um, but turns out we can solve this problem simply by wrapping this process in Dominit because Dominit waits for all of its children to exit before it exits itself. And so if we do this again and we control C, uh, Dominit sent control C to all of the children processes. And yeah. We, we we no longer have uh, PyTest processes hanging out in the background. Although I'm kind of surprised we don't see this output. So there's something weird going on here. Anyway, solves my problem, so I'm not complaining. Uh, it might have actually, actually, what actually happened here? We don't have a PyTest process. Oh, huh. I guess we could run it in verbose mode and see what happened. Finish V, we control C. Uh, do, 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 received signal two, that's sig int, sent to children, sig child, terminated by two. Ah, then it forwarded signal 15, but I don't think it had any children left. Weird. Well, don't know what happened. I think this is what happened, though. No, because we got sig child. I don't know. Anyway, I'm surprised there's not more output, but I also... Super care. But anyway, this is another unconventional use of Dominate, and these for me come up all the time. I basically find all sorts of reasons that I want to, you know, send signals to all of the children or wait until they've all died or, uh, you know, rewrite signals so that they're not sent. Anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, if there are other things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.